Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Sean Salutations. <sighs> Product reviews, <laughs> but I am slowly getting used to the whole Sean Salutations. Okay. Uh, Sean, why are we wearing these childlike plastic glasses that barely fit on my head? This is the new product I'm going to be looking at. What is it? It's called the Luangayo 3D Pen. The Luguini 3D Pen. Luangayo. Luguini. Is that what this is? The, the Luguini 3D Pen. Luangayo. What does it do? It is a pen that it allows you to write in 3D using uh, ABS uh, plastics. I've never heard of Luguini being able to write in plastic. This is amazing. So are you gonna show us how this works? Sure, I'd love to. All right, well let's take a look at this new 3D pen, what it can do, and we'll be back after the video to see if we, and Sean, and Ken, recommend the Laguini Luangayo pen. What's inside the box of the Luangayo 3D pen? This is a 3D printing pen and a 3D doodler. You can see that the 3D pen comes in a variety of different colors. It comes with a stand for your pen when it's not in use. An AC adapter plug, three different colors of ABS filaments, and the instruction manual. You can also purchase different types of templates for your doodling and a bag of different colored of PLA plastic filaments. Let's take a tour of the Luangayo 3D pen. At the top is where you plug in the AC power. Right across from that is the plastic insert port. On the side you'll find two white buttons. The closest one to the point is the forward filament feed button and the other the reverse filament feed button. On the other side is the speed control. Here is the LCD readout window. At the end of the pen is the nozzle. It can reach temperatures of over 400 degrees. Parents, make sure young kids are supervised. Let's get started by plugging the AC adapter into the top. Once plugged in, the LCD window will say ABS, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, or you can change it by hitting the button and getting the PLA setting, which stands for polylactic acid. Once you have selected the type of plastic filament you will be using, touch the forward feed button and the pen will start to heat up. You will notice that this happens very quickly. The video is not sped up and you'll notice the temperature is in Celsius. Once the pen reaches its designated temperature, you will see the small red light turn to a green light. If you stop using the pen for about two minutes, you will go into a sleep mode just touch the forward feed button to get the pen back up to its working temperature. Let's get ready to doodle. Grab a colored plastic filament and make sure the speed slide is in the fast position. Place the filament into the plastic insert port and touch the forward feed button to load it. This will take just a moment. As I said before, you can purchase a pre-made doodle templates, like a robot cat, a windmill, the Eiffel Tower, or even SpongeBob. I'm going to do a bicycle. I have sped up the video so we can get through all this. While that's happening, a few pointers. If you're doing a large area or thick lines, use the fast speed. If it is small or thin lined, Use the slow speed. Be sure to take your time and enjoy what you're doing. Once your doodle has cooled, you will see some strewn pieces of plastic. Get yourself some small scissors or small wire cutters like I'm using. Now since I used the template, I did find that the paper stuck to the doodle. The company is working on getting paper that works a lot better. Let's put this doodle bike together. I put a little hot plastic where each piece needs to go. 
Be sure you do this quickly because it cools very fast. So fast that you won't even burn yourself. And there you go, the bike is done. Now I'm going to make a drinking straw holder and match the colors with straws. I am going to do this freehand, well almost. I'm using a template that I made so my lines are somewhat straight and that all the panels are hopefully the correct size. Let's watch. Everything is done, so now I'm going to put everything together. I am basically welding each panel. And before you know it, I'm done. Look everyone, I'm crafting. Not too bad for my first time, don't you think? Someone gave us a great idea to use stamps, so I did. I used the oak tree stamp of the little bear. Now make sure you use the slow setting. Next I did a Christmas tree. On this one I used the ABS filaments. I did notice it is on the dull side where the PLA is shiny. As you can see on the ornaments. Here I did some sentiments. Again, make sure you use the slow setting and go slow. Take your time. These would work nicely as embellishments on either your cards or some scrapbooking. When using sentiments and your letters are not attached, make sure you do attach them or they will not be together as one piece. That was so easy, even a child could do it. Mm, yes, you can. <laughs> what do you mean I can? Look, look what I made. That's pretty cool. Trans creations. No Sean salutations? Exactly. So what did you think of the Le, the Laguini pen? Luan Gallo. Oh my goodness. What did you think of it? I thought it was a really easy pen to use. It was uh, simple and you could carry it very well. You could draw very well, create 3D images like we showed you. It was easy. Yeah. What I really liked is, first of all, it's addictive. Uh, I easily picked it up and you get going right away. Heats up very quickly. Very quick. I was surprised. Less than 30 seconds. Yeah, and I think this is going to be a huge hit with the kids. But for us crafters, this will be very fun to add embellishments onto the front of cards. You're able to stamp an image and then fill in your stamp and you get a personalized little charm or look. Easily make uh, jewelry or little keepsakes. Pendants so, even. Pendants, yeah. yeah. You can make tons of different stuff. I really think that the possibilities are endless. Really, the possibilities is your imagination. Absolutely. I mean, you did a great job with your straw holder. Thank you very much. I mean, but you can't top my, my Ken's creations. That's pretty cool, too. It is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so I, I think it's a hit, and I think people should definitely give it a try. Absolutely. Go get it. You'll love it. What do you, you liked it? I you really it. did? I really did. I, All right. I actually had a lot of fun with it. You know what else you would like? What's that? If you subscribe to my YouTube channel over here. Yes. And don't forget to check out all of my social media right here. That's my blog, you know, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere I'm social. You know all those places. Yeah, everywhere you're social. And if you like me, and if you like Sean, and if you like me, but if you also like Sean more than me, we have a Patreon account you can support this channel by becoming our sponsors. We even have rewards. Yes, we do. Like a Google Hangout with us, because we're amazing. So you can support our Patreon here. And down below, there's three videos you might like. Watch those. They might just have me. It could also have Sean and maybe two of them by now. And there are some great videos. And most importantly, if you liked the Laguini 3D pen, Laguno, the Lag Gusta. Luen Gallo. Oh my goodness. If you liked the 3D pen, make sure to support us by clicking the link down in the description. We get a little bit of a small commission and we greatly appreciate you if you do. All right. Well, I love the pen. I think I'm going to be using it if I can get it out of your hands because I 
seem to think you like it. I really like it. It's going to be tough getting it out of that hand of mine. Yep. So, all right. I hope you guys get it. I hope you take it to your craft rooms, go out there and create something magical. Why do you always sound so weird at the end like that? Why not? All right, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.